lots of things. We're working on coordination. We are also helping to reduce stress levels, any depression, anxiety. You know, exercise is one of the best medicines for our bodies. You know, and especially being diabetic, it's so important to keep moving. All right, that's good. So we've got the last 15 seconds coming up on that first move. That's good. Nervous. So it's just four minutes today. It's just a quick little workout that will make all the difference. And let's get ready to count you down. So we've got last five. Take it four, three, two, and one. So what I want you to do now is just go for 20 seconds. So you're just marching lightly on the spot. You could also be marching around your room. So just keeping that going. And think about doing this with good posture. Let's realign your body. Let's lift up through your chest. Put your shoulders back. You can even draw those tummy muscles in tight, so it's strengthening through the four, two, and one. All right, so next move now, coming up this one, we're going to do this again for 40 seconds. So we have got four punches up and then four punches across them. So just keeping that going. So also, let's not forget that exercise improves the body to use insulin more efficiently, and regular exercise can help reduce the amount of insulin you have to take. This is why I cannot stress enough, healthy living is so important. All right, so we're halfway through this, let's just keep that going. So you're alternating, taking the arms up for four punches, and then simply draw it across the four. We're just constantly taking that foot back. So we're just moving your whole body. So we're turning all over, increasing your heart health, everything. And let's go three, take it two and one. All right, so bring it straight back now. 20 seconds, just march on the spot. As I said, you could just be marching around the room. So it's a really simple little routine today. Let's go, keep that going. Let's just take the last five. Let's go four, three, two, and one. All right, so next move, we're going to go back to that first one we did earlier on. So just imagine it's quite a good one. So just visualize you can back the bow and arrow, and then this one, we're just taking that big, large flap. So let's go for 40 seconds. Keep that nice and controlled. That's good. Step it back, and then open up through the arms. You know, and this works so good. You are right now, you are taking control of your health and your body. And exercise really helps us to lose weight. And also, most importantly, it helps us then maintain a healthy weight. All right, you're doing really well. Let's just go for the last 15 seconds. So we just alternate with four arms. Bring that back. So if you're doing your bow and arrow, and then as if we're doing that big back, opening up through the arms. Good. Four, let's go three, take it two, and one. So you know the rule now, we're going straight back to doing that marching on the spot. Try and land nice and softly for me. Let's think about good posture. When you have good posture, it helps in so many ways. It makes us look more confident. It's also really good to help realign our body. And a good tip now is imagine I've dropped a nice key down your back. See how naturally you lift your chest and pull your shoulders back. All right, so let's get ready. Straight back to that other move now. I'm going to take that for four punches above and then four punching it out to the side. All right, 40 seconds. So keeping that going, doing really well. So what I'm hoping now, you will feel a little bit out of breath. This isn't super high intensity, but it is enough that it's going to be making a difference. And exercise, as we know, it gives us more energy. It makes us have a better feeling of well-being. It's good for our confidence and it's basically 100% going to give you a better quality of life. So let's just keep that going and let's just go last 10 seconds from now for me. Pushing that through, that's good. And then let's take it last five. Let's go four, three, two, and one. And bring that straight back now. 20 seconds, just a marching on the spot, just landing nice and softly. And we're nearly finished today's workout, just 10 seconds to go and let's count you down from that last five. Let's go four, take it three, two, and one. Now what is important now, that is the workout complete. What I want you to do is just keep marching just very lightly on the spot. It's a good idea to grab some water as well. Um, if you need longer, then simply hit that pause button now. You can only blood sugars and really well done with today's training. What I'm going to do, I'm going to do some light stretches with you now as well. So first one we want to do is just take that one foot back. Just feel it where that arrow is pointing. So I just want you to feel that through the um, 
calf muscle in the back of the lower leg. And the other exercises that are really good are things like walking, and also I have lots of different indoor walking workouts on my YouTube channel that you can follow. You know, if you can, um, always, what did you say to any client of mine, always listen to your body. You know, if something feels too much, then just rest, all right? But it is important that we do exercise regularly because it has so many benefits. All right, so this one, we're just feeling that stretch running down the hamstring. So it's always, you always have your hands on the bent leg, on the thigh of the bent leg, and you want to feel the stretch on the leg that's extended through the back of the upper thigh. Okay, and then for the next one, we're going to do a bit of balancing here. If you want to, just come onto the wall, have your hand on the wall. Just feel that running down the front of the thigh. That's good. And just take that to the opposite side. So, um, if you are a diabetic or perhaps if you're a complete beginner to exercise, this is a great workout to start with. You know, aim to do this four to five times a week. And then as I said, you know, doing some outdoor walks or you could do my indoor walking workouts. I'll leave a link um, down below for um, all my different walking workouts as well. And as a qualified trainer, I have over 25 years experience. You can always head to my website, lwrfitness.com. I have lots of blogs on healthy living, from healthy recipes, to motivation, to literally everything. So um, if you want more info, then... <laughs>